everybody welcome back so today is going to be such a fun day i'm going plant shopping at pikes and then i'm going thrifting at goodwill for pots and planters i mean you would not believe the stuff you can find at goodwill and local thrift shops for plants it's amazing i found baskets and plant shelves and all sorts of great stuff and i like to find the funky stuff you know what I'm saying? Like the stuff like you couldn't find anywhere else. I found pottery from local artists. Uh, it always ends up being an, a good time. So the reason I'm going to Pikes, and there are lots of Pikes locations around. I know all across North Carolina, Georgia. So maybe check it out and see if there's a Pikes in your area. Because I recently went there to film a plant care video all about philodendron and pothos that you can find under $20 and how to grow them into huge plants. And while I was there, I could not believe the plants that I found. So I thought, okay, I gotta go back and do a plant shopping video here so maybe I can pick up a couple of these cool plants and share them with all of you. Um, I absolutely love it when I do these videos and people go out and find the same plants I do or other amazing plants and let me know what they find. So as we go today, definitely leave your comments what you would have picked out, any cool plants you've been finding. And if you're new, welcome to our awesome, awesome plant community. I'm a crazy plant lady and proud as you can see. And if that brings a smile to your face, you can subscribe and that will um, enable future episodes to show up in your newsfeed. I always post about once or twice a week and it's always really positive, you know, planty vibes. We also have an amazing community on Instagram if you would like to be part of that. All right, so let's go do some shopping and then I'll share my haul at the end. Let's go. So I've just walked in and the house plant section is back there, as you can see. But they usually have some nice plants inside as well. So I just wanted to take a quick peek at what they have. First up, I saw these gorgeous Af African violets. Look how beautiful they are. $5.99, that's a great, great deal. Ooh, those are so pretty. I also love to view the orchids. I think that Pikes probably has some of the best orchids that you can find in Charlotte. Um, I like that they have a variety that I just don't normally see anywhere. They have interesting orchids. I don't know much about orchids, as I've said before, but they definitely have some unique ones here look at this beautiful one these are around 34 i think for most of those i have this one in my collection it's called the like a dancing dancing orchid i think it's so beautiful look at this gorgeous purple one just lovely Ooh, look at this one and they also they do have them labeled Wildcat Yellow. Oh, look at this little white delicate one back here. Oh, look at this purple one. I think these just have really beautiful orchids. This green one. So if you enjoy orchids and you're in the Charlotte area and you want to find some just more unique things that you can find at like the big box shops, uh, Pikes is a good spot to go. And they do have a lot of locations around the Charlotte area. So I just always like to point that out. Well, look at this one, oh my gosh. So awesome. And then they have the Phalaenopsis as well. I just noticed these little trees and they have blooms on it. It's a type of uh, willow and it says the tree of enchantment and it's legit like these are blooms on there and look this one has little leaves coming out oh my gosh they're forty dollars oh i love them hmm i don't want to spend money though but they're so pretty i always take a peek at their terrarium plants. One time I found a butterfly syngonium in their terrarium plants and it's just um, always a surprise sometimes what you can find. Look, they have a variegated peperomia serpens. That's a great deal. I'm trying to see how much their terrarium plants are. Six dollars. Eh, you know. 
could find probably better deal on terrarium plants, but they have neat varieties. Like they have the uh, heart leaf fern. Looks like they have some other, look at this fuzzy guy. Some interesting ferns. Sometimes they have Hoyas mixed in. Looks like a lipstick plant there. Some Syngonium, Ivy, Strawberry Begonias, Fetonias, Tratoscantia, Pilea Peperomioides, lots of succulents as well. They have some massive Tillandsia. Look how huge this is. Here, I'll put my hand so you guys can see how big that plant is. 29. I'm now in the house plant section and I'm always surprised. I really hope they have some of the amazing plants that they had the other day because I was completely blown away. Oh, it looks like they still have a wonderful assortment. Just off the bat, the first plant that's drawn to my eye is this humongous Sebi Blue Pothos. It is so lush and Stunning. Do you know how long it takes to get this plant this huge? It has some gorgeous fenestrations. It's very silvery colored. Um, I'm so curious how much they are. Let me take a peek. I just met Ivy and Scarlett. Hi, they watched the channel, part of the plant community. Thanks for saying hi. I see a price on the Cebu Blue. Um, unfortunately, it says 79, but I think that might be for the plant, planter pot. So, I don't know, but it's a stunner. They have some um, like Trubii, Moonlight Skin Dapsis. They're listed as 30. They also have a, some Geogenanthus and just some beautiful, I mean, the plants look so healthy. Look at the color on this Geogenanthus. It's, it's different. It has like the green mixed in with the, with the purple dark foliage. They have a lot of Hoyas, looks like. What is this? Maybe Hoya Pubicalix, $14.99. It looks like they have some Australis as well. A lot healthy, you know, a lot of vining Hoyas. You know, these will all get leaves on them hopefully this summer. Hoya Pubicalix, $25. Ooh, they have Hoya Croniana Splash. That's a good find, $24.99. I love these types of Hoyas. They're absolutely beautiful, very easy to care for. They have lots of little bonsai. So the large string of arrows are 20 and then the smaller string of arrows, maybe 15. They're so cool. They look very similar to string of hearts except for the shape is a lot more arrowy. You can really see that in this, in this example. They have lots of string of dolphins. Down here, there are some gorgeous alocasia. There's silver dragon. Yes, silver dragon, $20 absolutely massive alocasia maharani some of the largest leaves i've seen look at that oh my goodness those are 20 dollars as well these are beautiful they have the bright pink stems ivory coast these are 20 dollars yeah just some really lovely alocasia 20 dollars Cordyline varieties. They are 20. Some ficus over here, ficus triangularis. So stunning. Um, 25. They have ficus umbrellata. Some little fiddles. They have some little string of turtles. So cute. Some creeping fig, ficus repens. They have some interesting Tratoscantia, pistachio white. They have pink panther over there for 16. It's so cute. Dracaena. 
Then they have the smaller maharanis. That's one of the things that I do appreciate about pike is they'll usually have small size of plants as well. Some little parlor palms, some more, um, I think these are cryptanthus, not bromeliads. Some little cryptanthus, spathophyllum, some interesting ivy, some pineapple plants. Oh my gosh, so these are all about seven to $10, all of these plants here. Some little peperomias, some looks like some frosted peperomia, some uh, peperomia obtusifolia. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at the color on those. Shumi red. So, oh, this is an interesting peperomia. Angulata radiance. It looks a little bit like Dachidia. Oh, they have some anthurium, some bird's nest anthurium. A superbum, I mean, not bird's nest, and they're $14.99. I think a superbum is a type of bird's nest anthurium. And lots of different syngonium variety, varieties, and they have ficus tenacae. Nice size syngonium. Some really pretty Hartley philodendrons and some little Monstera deliciosas coming into the Calathea. Now these philodendrons are $7.99. Some uh, this one I think is a stromanthe. No, it's a Calathea. It's beautiful. Little Calathea orbifolia. And these are all around $10. Lots of lovely pothos here. It's daghorn fern, some coffee plants, some Schifflera umbrella plants, some more pothos, and then there's there are quite a few Hoyas down there. Some beautiful pearls and jade. I picked one of these up the other day. These are $7.99. And they have Hoya curtisii. These are $14.99 for the Curtisii. Look at those Puba Calyx. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Now I do have most of these plants in my collection. And the Hoyas are always a solid choice if you're trying to decide. Hoya macrophylla, lovely fast growing plant. The only Hoya out of all of these that I have found to be tricky is the um, Curtisii. And then also the Hoya retusa can be tricky. They have the Crimson Princess, which is the variegation on the inside, and then Crimson Queen, which is variegation on the outside. The Hoya Compacta, $14.99, and the Hoya Retusa. Looks like they have some of the larger sized Hoyas over here. And it's nice, they're trellised up, which Hoyas absolutely love the opportunity to climb. I would love to trellis some more of my Hoyas. And I'm just curious to see, they just got watered. Now this is a Hoya Chelsea, you can tell kind of by the heart shape and the little divots in the leaves, one of my favorite Hoyas. And it is $24.99. Puba Calyx, again, I don't see a price on those. Um, they have some Curtisii, some more Ficus, Ivy. Here's that fun Peperomia that I just saw that's kind of unique and different. Angulata. I love how dark the leaves are and they have that pop of lime green. Here we have Aurelia. And some more Peperomias. Some variegated Peperomias, some Anthurium. And lovely Bromeliads over here as well. Some more beautiful plants. We have Calathea orbifolia. Lots of Calatheas. If you like Calatheas, this is a great place to come because they always have really beautiful, healthy Calathea varieties. Um, Oakdale is also a great spot in the Charlotte area if you like Calatheas. So these are um, the fuzzy, fuzzy Calatheas. And they're also labeled as well. So here's the Calathea mosaica. These are $29.99. Here's medallion, rose, roseo. They also have some cute little aglionemas hanging out in here. They also have Monstera stilsipicana here that you just don't see around that often. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant, 
twenty uh, thirty four ninety nine for a nice full hanging basket. They also have Cebu Blue up here in the hanging baskets and Golden Pothos. Macaulay's Finale nineteen ninety nine. That's a nice deal. I, I really like Macaulay's Finale. They're so beautiful and I love the new growth, how red it is when it first makes its appearance into the world. Some beautiful philodendron Brazil. They have these massive, massive baskets of philodendron micans. I think this is one of my favorite deals from the last time I came. This humongous basket of micans is $29.99. Like, it's so huge. I can't get it far enough away from the camera to be able to show you all, but that is such a great deal. It's really, really unbelievable. And they have a lot of them. These are all Mikan's. Um, to me, that is like one of the best, best deals I've seen today. Some beautiful staghorn ferns and some other beautiful fern variety, Marantas over there and uh, asparagus fern plumosa lots of pothos here these are all 15 they also have a skindapsis uh, exotica and some adansonii narrow form they have all sorts of interesting Fern here we have a uh, bird's nest fern, $16.99. I love the little ruffles on the tips there. So, so lovely. Humongous fern. Then we have some staghorn fern here in the little pot. Just look at that guy. Maiden hair. Blue star. I think this back here is a homolonema. Really lovely. They have some humongous sense of area sayuris. This is a more uncommon type of snake plant. $50. Oh, that is such a good deal. Cast iron plants, ZZ plants, some nice big ones. Monstera deliciosas, humongous calatheas, and an even more humongous peace lily. The last time I was here, I was really impressed with some of their philodendrons. These nice sized silver swords are 39. Some more Adansonii, Monstera Deliciosa, uh, Homolonema. Also, this is another good deal that I found, was this fuzzy petiole. They have really nice sized fuzzy petioles, like full pots of it. And some of them are $19.99. So you just have to find the right one. Like this one here is 19. I mean, that's pretty good for $19. Like that's a that's a nice big beautiful philodendron. These are labeled 39, but no, this one is 19. Maybe I'll get one of those. Mine was really great and easy, but it did end up getting uh, thrips, which you know you guys know I had a thrips outbreak and fuzzy petiole kind of was struggling, so I got rid of it. But maybe I'll get another one today. They have some beautiful philodendron birkins and these stunners. Oh, they're so lush and green, they're $19. And I'm in love with them. Maybe a, a lemon lime philodendron? I think these are more Macaulay finales. They have some adorable succulent gardens. Like look at this little heart-shaped one. This little succulent garden, $24.99. They have um, some Hoya Carii variegata single leaf $14.99 and I know a lot of people hate these because they won't grow into more than one leaf but I have one that I've had for years and years and it's done great I've not had any issues Some interesting cacti and succulent varieties. They have these lifesaver plants, which are really cool because the blooms look like lifesavers. They have some interesting euphorbia. 
all sorts of beautiful dracaena variety such a great easy care plant some more um, staghorn ferns and marantas beautiful philodendron brazil these hanging baskets are $24.99 so healthy full and lush then we have some more of these monstera silsipacanas they have so many of them here guys so if you're looking for one this would be a good spot they look healthy really good um yeah. cebu blue yeah they have some domino peace lilies and they look really, really nice. Look at the variegation on these leaves. One of my favorite plants, actually, the Domino's, Domino Peace Lily. You can be surprised. Sometimes you can get some really nice variegation out of it. And it's such an easy plant. Now, this must be um, a different type of Domino Peace Lily because mine has very crinkly leaves. And this one doesn't have crinkly leaves, actually. So that's kind of unique um, compared to the ones I've normally seen. That's really cool. Look, it's like a flat, slick-leafed domino piece lily with the exception of the little kind of divots that you see here. It's not crinkly like newspaper. Ooh, like this one. This is the kind that I'm used to seeing. It has like a more of a crinkly texture to the leaves. But that some of these don't. Yeah, this is more of like the one I'm used to seeing. So they have a couple different domino piece lily varieties here. I don't think that other one is a domino. Cause yeah, these are more domino and these are $16.99 for these. So you see the difference. This is the regular domino and that one's interesting. And then these over here are different than that. Isn't that neat? What do you guys think? Do you think it's a different variety? Spathophyllum domino, but it doesn't look like it at all to me. Like, look at this. God, it's such a beautiful plant. I just want to get another one for $17. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that doesn't look, that looks different to me. It's nice. They have a few of these. You could hang your plant off of that. I'm trying to think of some creative ways to hang plants in my plant room. $10 though. You know, I don't think so. Look, how much is this? $1.99. It's from Ikea. It's about the same price as it was originally at Ikea, but the color's pretty. 
What else? They have like a brand new lamp. That's really pretty. How much are you? I actually need some new lamps at my house. Oh, the price is off. How much are you? I love the marble. This is so pretty with like the marble and then the... $25? Surely not. Oh my gosh. Our Goodwills were already, always so reasonably priced. I don't know what's going on today. This is nice. $3.99. Kind of unique. I have somewhere that this could actually go. I actually really like that. I like these. You could put a little grow light in there. 20 bucks. They have a lot of stuff today. A little salt and pepper, 10 bucks. You can get this for cheaper at the store. That is so crazy. I always felt like in Charlotte, at least the prices were like staying decent compared to some other Goodwills that I'd seen in the country, but I guess it's caught up with us. Look at these votive holders. Those are nice for propagations. $2.99 maybe? Can't tell. For $2.99, that's not bad. They're really pretty. They do have a lot of furniture. They still have a lot, uh, a lot of houseware stuff for me to go through, but I just saw all this cool furniture over here. This is a nice detailed coffee table. I like it, it has little drawers that go all the way around. $20, could fix that up. Make it nice. A lot of couches and chairs. And um, sometimes over here you can find plant stands, baskets, um, bookshelves, all sorts of great stuff for plants. But I don't really see anything right now that would be specifically for plants, unless you use something like this for a little, you know, a little stand. Sometimes you can find nice little side tables. Lots of good stuff still, and I was told up front there are lots of pots as well. So once I get through this area, I might pop up front, see what I can find. But it looks like they have some interesting things. I like to find like different, like, ooh, this looks kind of different, $2.99. I kind of like that design. It's kind of different. <laughs> this one's fun. You know, sometimes I've found really nice pieces from local artists, you know, their handmade pottery, grandpa's ice cream. <laughs> That's sweet. That could be cute for a little plant. Let's see what else. And the other day I was here, not the other day, this was a while ago, and I found a little decanter and it was Tiffany's but it didn't have the lid and I didn't know if I'd use it so I left it, but it's like just, you have to like take your time, look through, see what you can find. Oh my gosh, this is funky. Isn't that cool, $1.99? It's signed on the bottom. Oh my goodness. Handmade in Italy. I just don't like the color, but it's a nice like quality piece. But there's something back here I'm kind of interested in. It's this little fish. I could put a little plant in there, use this as a cover pot. Like a little two inch nursery pot in there. I just think that's adorable. They have such cute stuff. I guess they're putting out some of the little Easter things, some little collectible figurines, like little espressos. Let's see. Huh? What does this say? Mine. Maybe for Baileys? I'm the same when I have my Baileys, it's mine. No touchy. Oh, a Walsh. Sometimes they can have pieces that are made by like, you know, local students and that kind of thing. This looks like something 
a wall she could pour it 99 cents I don't know if I'd put a plant in there or not kind of different this is nice a little teapot and coffee pot kind of sweet oh my gosh look at this clam huh. I like this it says eat amen look at this little turtle Ooh, I like this little cabbage leaf um, bowl. Pinheiro. I don't know. I just kind of like that. I like these too. Ooh, gosh, look at that huge jug. I like the detail of the little curly um, handle. Gosh, can't find my words. I'm gonna get this. I don't know. I just kind of like it. It's different. This is pretty. It's a little shell bowl. Comes as a set. I don't want to like take it apart. Wow, look at that. Do you think it's silver? Or pewter, maybe? So fancy. What else is down here? Lots of glass and like vases and stuff. So, and I, from what I can tell, like the really good quality glass has this like bluish tint to it. Although this is really pretty, this little thing here. Like look how lovely this is. If you just wanted a little dish to entertain, $2.99 for this like really pretty dish with the flowers on there. Ooh, they have like a little glass chessboard. You could just buy some fun chess pieces and put that out. I've been looking for a chessboard. Little grapes. And sometimes you can find some actual crystal. That's pretty heavy. Oh, this is a funky bottle for propagations. $2.99, I actually really like that. There's a little popcorn one down back there and I got another popcorn one thrifting before. Should I make a little popcorn? Like, this looks like a bowl. I don't think I could really use that as a cover pot. This is interesting. Like you could definitely put a little plant in there and add an apple on it. $2.99, I don't know. Kind of different. This little house, cute little houses, <laughs> little bear. <laughs> Ooh, unrelated to plants, I just saw this for sauces. That's a good find. Three bucks. I like that. They have some really interesting, like looks like super old vintagey plates here. This is Lillian. Vernon or Vert, yeah, Venon, $1.99. It's like a few really old vintage plates. This one says Buffalo China Cafe. I like the little colors around it. If you're into vintage stuff, like this would be cool. Ooh, how did I miss this? They have some little, um, like ice cream cover pots. Yes, obsessed. This cute little sun pot. Cute. Little butterfly pot. My goodness. Oh my gosh, look at this little vintage cow salt and pepper. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I wonder how old they are. Let me see if they're in good shape. They're kind of faded. They're not broken. Let's see on the back what it says.
It doesn't have a date. That's cute though. Wow. That is my kind of margarita glass. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. This is pretty. It has like a little blush pinkish color to it. Like that would be a good cover pot. How much are you? Three bucks. It's pretty. Ooh, I've been seeing these types of things like really trending lately. They're vases and I've seen them in book shape and square shape. I'm definitely going to get this. This is a cool find. $2.99. I'm obsessed. Put some flowers in there. I always keep my eye out because I'd love to find, like, I don't know if you guys have heard of, like, the little fairy lights. This is pretty. Like, can you imagine putting your, it's so, like, luxurious putting, like, your little rings in there or your jewelry or something. It's so pretty. Like, how elegant is that? And I also really like this with the heart with the little kind of glass beads all around it such pretty like sometimes it can be overwhelming and it's just thinking of like how you would do each individual thing and I absolutely love these little fish plates <laughs> I have no idea what I would use them for but they come they have four of them how do I not buy these little fish plates oh my gosh I'm so tempted what would I do with this sushi <coughs> They're just so different. Like, can you imagine going to someone's house and they put this in front of you? Like, it's so cute. This is another really cute um, propagation vessel. Dollar ninety nine. Because one of the things I like to do is like when people come visit, I'll take a cutting and give it to them, and I like to put it in like a pretty little propagation thing for them. So I think this is really lovely. They also have a nice assortment of baskets. Let's see what else keep the party going. It's a neat little truck. Oh, there's a whole candle. $1.99. Interesting. This is kind of different. little sunflower it's interesting it's really heavy oh gosh this thing I'm not kidding it has to weigh at least five pounds I'm sure it's like collectible something or other. <gasps> oh, look at this piece of coral. Why am I into nautical today? This is really pretty though. Wow, I love it. How much? $3.99. Look at this beautiful coral, $3.99. Y'all know I'm from the Caribbean originally, so I have like a soft spot for this kind of stuff. Beautiful, I'm gonna buy it. Now I always like to take a peek at the books because you can find some really, really amazing books. Um, and they're a, a dollar, a dollar 39 for hardbacks. You can find some amazing books for so reasonable. I, I don't know if you guys remember, um, some of you may have seen where I went thrifting a little while ago and found a gnome book. And that book turns out is really um, uncommon, hard to find. It's worth a lot of money, like a few hundred dollars. So you can find some really fabulous books. It's just like taking your time to go through and look. Um, but yeah i just wanted to mention that wow they have like all sorts of little gardening supplies up here that's neat six bucks which are these pots fifteen dollars they're plastic i don't know how good of a deal that is to be honest these little ones are cute 
Some little gardening gloves. That was an absolutely fabulous day. I had so much fun plant shopping and thrifting. I cannot wait to share what I found. So first up, I'm going to share the plant that I picked out. Now today I wanted to really focus on thrifting and I didn't wanna buy a lot of plants or spend a lot of money on plants. So I got really, really lucky that they had this beautiful Alocasia Maharani for only $9. I could not believe it. At first I thought it was $20 because that would make sense for an Alocasia Maharani. And then when I went back and I was walking through I saw oh my gosh nine dollars for this allocation Maharani um, another plant that I was really interested in was the peace lily domino but the smooth leafed uh, peace lily domino domino peace lily so let me know if you think it was the same as a normal one or maybe why it would have smooth leaves as a domino versus the crinkly leaves because they had both types there and so that one was in the running as well. But I just thought this, I love the Maharanis. Um, I found that, knock on wood, the Maharani and the really thick leafed alocasias, they don't have like as many troubles with spider mites and they don't have as many issues as some of these other alocasias that are more like velvety or thin leaved. The Maharanis have always done really, really well for me and I thought this was a beautiful one for that prize. Holy cow, that was so good. Also the philodend huge philodendron micans baskets for $29. Like that was such a steal, but I have so many micans now that I don't didn't need to go ahead and buy another basket of them. But yeah, this one and the Peace Lily were the two. On to Goodwill. I got some really cool plant stuff and then I got a couple other little funky things. I have this whole bag of stuff. I found this. I thought this was really neat. Um, it's a really beautiful tray and it's nice quality. And I think this would be great to put a plant on. Maybe downstairs on my coffee table, I'll put a plant on there. Um, I think it's really cool. I love the, um, I don't know the detail of it and then I have a lamp downstairs that is this color that has these little like spots on there so it kind of matches it. I found some really cool pots. I thought this one was really neat. It has this beautiful sun on there. Now in my main living area my decor and plants are just pretty minimal, very neutral colors, re relaxing, peaceful. And then in here I have like funky crazy pots as you guys know so I love this one. It's really just happy and vivacious. I could put the Maharani in here if I wanted to. This one was $2.99. It has a little drainage hole, which is cool. Boop, boop. How perfect is that? Best deal ever. And it has a signature on the bottom, WBI. I'm not sure. I also found these adorable cupcake pots. It looks like they've been used. Now, all of this stuff I'm gonna sanitize um, because you just never know. Anything I ever bring home, I sanitize like the bejesus out of it. Oh, I thought this was beautiful. Um, I think this would be a great cover pot, $2.99. And then this could go in the main part of my house. Like I could just put a little nursery pot in there and it just, the light could reflect off of there. Like how beautiful is that? And I like that it has a little bit of blush color. Really, really uh, love that one. It has the detail at the bottom. So I, I think that's one of my favorite things actually from today. Look how neat this um, bottle is. It's very, very good quality glass. It's from Italy. It says Italy on the bottom. I got it for uh, $2.99 and it's really funky. Like you can go like this or it can go like this. Obviously for me, it'll go like this. And I love having stuff like this on hand because I really enjoy giving cuttings to people when they come over. And it's so nice to like send them home with a really beautiful, bottle or prop bottle um, so they can just kind of like have that to go with their plant and they can just keep it in water or pot it up if they want to down the line but so I love having lots of these on hand look how adorable this is I love this it's obviously like a little candle holder but I'll use it as a, a cover pot maybe a two inch two inch planter it was a dollar ninety nine and it's really interesting it's a little glass candle holder but someone's put clay over the top and hand painted it maybe and then like made this little clay fish that they stuck on there and a little piece of cedar. I just thought that was really 
really cute. I also found this beautiful piece of coral and this type of uh, coral is very expensive to find and I really think that this is not a replica. I think this is an actual piece of coral. I think this part may be dyed but um, it's just you can tell with the detail that it's that it's a real piece of coral and I'm originally from the Caribbean. I grew up in St. Martin. I didn't move here until like seventh, eighth grade. And so I just have a special place in my heart for things like this. Um, and I think this is beautiful. This would look so nice on a bookshelf and it just makes me happy to look at it. Like how stunning is this? I think this might be ribbon coral. Um, I'm not sure. Let me know if you know what kind it is. I love it. You can see it's kind of like chipped, but I don't care. I think it's beautiful. I got it for four dollars. I've been seeing a lot of people post about these types of vases and it's so cool. It's a square vase and just fill it with water, put a couple pretty flowers in there and I've been wanting one of these forever and I can't believe I found one for $2.99. Such a great deal. I love the size that it's small. Oh, I found another really nice propagation. Um, a little propagation vessel, $1.99. Like for two bucks that I can just have this and give it to somebody with a beautiful cutting, I just love that. So unrelated to plant stuff, but I found this really cool like cabbage leaf <laughs> um, plate or bowl. Made in Portugal, Bordello, Pinero. I'm not sure, I've seen these around and I've always thought they were really neat and you can tell it's good quality. I love the color of it. Just really cool. And then the last thing I got is not a plant thing, but I just thought this was great for three bucks that I can put dips and stuff like that. So that's my haul from today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to let me know what you would have picked out. And if you wanna see future plant videos in your news feed, make sure to subscribe. And we also, like I always say, have a great community on Instagram. And my goal for this year is to get a lot more active on Instagram and I might even dive into TikTok a little bit. Um, so I'll be posting more of those types of videos as well because I think they're so much fun. I love TikTok, I love Instagram. I should post on there more. So that's my goal for this year is more planty content across all platforms. So I always appreciate all of your support. You guys are the absolute best. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.